Go ahead and state your name. Muhammad. All right, and Muhammad, um, we're asking people today questions about the inversion and um, how it's affecting their lives. How has the inversion been affecting your life? Uh, it's been kind of rough. I mean, it's been harder to breathe. Uh, now I know what asthma feels like or having asthma. I know a couple of my friends have had to get inhalers because of the inversion. I think it's from uh, the cars uh -huh. uh, within Salt Lake Valley um, and pollution caused by factories and such. What happens is uh, Salt Lake City is a valley and so the cold air will pull in to the inside, of the, to the you know, bottom of the valley and you've got the hot air which sits on top and this creates a seal and so all the you know, stuff that's going on daily as far as traveling with cars and factories and all that, the emissions uh, get stuck in the valley and we breathe in exactly what we're putting out. Uh, it's actually been kind of weird the past couple of days. Weird in what um, sense? Well, I mean, you got the, you know, the aspect of where you can't really breathe that well, uh -huh. mixed with people acting strangely. Well, the other day, it, the inversion always happens after a snowstorm. Uh, inversion hits. My roommate, uh, he's a clean freak. This guy needs to have everything in the house spotless. He's, I think he's got ADHD mixed with a little bit of OCD because he is all over the place, but everything is spotless. Well, I wake up one morning and... Yusuf! I go and knock on his door and uh, he doesn't answer. Yusuf. Yusuf. And so I take the liberty to crack the door open. I don't know what's going on with the guy. Walk into Yusuf. his room and Yusuf. he's knocked out asleep. But there's a bunch of garbage all over him, all over his body. I mean, it seemed to me to be garbage, but he didn't mind it at all. Yo, Yusuf. Yusuf. Get up, man. Get up. Get up. What is going on, man? The living room looks like a mess, and the huh? room is worse. The f he was cussing up a storm. That was one thing that just really caught me off guard because this guy's got the cleanest mouth. What the f is wrong with you? Oh, man, I just was wondering, like, what is going on? What are you with doing in here, man? The f you got rice, lamb meat, food, green. Man. I don't know what that is. It's green. That's all I know. It's and then, lettuce, man. The f this is lettuce? Yeah. At one point it was lettuce, yeah, maybe, yeah. but this is, hey. I don't know what's, I'm what are you doing in my room? I came in here because I saw the living room was like a complete mess, and I figured something's got to be wrong with you, so I thought you could have been dead. I don't see anything wrong with the room, man. Something's wrong with you. Get out of here. I came in here to check up on you. I get thought out, you were dead. Get out of here, man. All right, you're my What are you doing here? Okay, cool. I'll get out. When you wake up in a little bit, we'll have a talk. Whatever, man. Get out of here. Relax and cool. Get out of my room, Look man. Filthy. I mean, if you'd like, we can take a ride in my car, and I'll show you around, show you how pretty bad it gets here, what the inversion does, you know, what we can see with our own eyes that the inversion is doing. Um, you should really try to look at it at night. I mean, if you get a chance to see it at night, it's, it's kind of nuts. It reminds me of, like, a horror film. You see the fog just everywhere and it's like you're driving through the fog and it's almost like you're driving towards the Amityville Horror or something, I don't know. Freaky. Uh, I mean, we should, probably shouldn't be breathing that in. Um, and people should be using the public transportation a lot more and yet we still have a need to feel, I guess, greedy and uh, each person drive their own vehicle and not really care about the you know, welfare of uh, the rest of us. That day I took the tracks. Um, to school. I don't usually drive. And when I get home from school, I see 
you know, I come home to Yusuf and another one of our friends, a mutual friend of ours, Yasser, smoking hookah. These guys don't smoke hookah. No, oh, all this pollution and diversion, it's got me feeling like I got angina. I thought you were a dude, bro. I am a dude. Angina means chest pain, man. Oh, I thought it was a different kind of pain, you know, in a different area. No, it just means chest pain. That's a big backpack you got there. It is a pretty big backpack. It fits all my stuff. Well, whenever you need a ride, bro, you can put it in my trunk. I'll definitely consider that. I'm gonna go to my room. Cool, cool. You know, saying some some strange things to me. Uh, like, he offered me a ride, and I know that seems, you know, really normal right now, but it just didn't sound right. I mean, had you been there, you would know there was something off. And I decided to take him up on his offer, by the way and uh, he gave me a ride to school the next day. But the weird thing about that was he loves his car. This guy, he's, you know, the only thing that matters to him in life is his vehicle. So what he does is he keeps that thing clean and shiny. I mean, nothing's ever out of place. The outside and the inside of the car, are, you know, spick and span, just ridiculously clean. You can eat it off of his dashboard. When he came to pick me up, it looked like he'd gone off-roading in his car. What happened to your car? What's up, bro? What happened to your car, man? Nothing happened. This is how my car is. You came this color stock? Mud? You run? You... Looks like you ran through a rally. Nothing happened. At a rally car. Get in, get in. All right, you want me to just sit on all this? I like your big backpack. Thanks. Oh, well, what's uh, what's going on with your car today, man? Dude, it's always like this. No. It isn't. Your car is usually spotless. Don't act as if I'm crazy. I mean, the outside looks like you ran through a rally. I can understand. I don't know what you did, but... I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Were you cooking pasta in here? That's a little Caesar sauce. I don't even know what to tell you. I mean, you got a Jimmy John's bag. You've got soccer clothing. You don't play soccer. You've got cigarette ash. Dude, I've never seen you smoke. Dude, the ash is from... Yeah. Well, I don't know. Where a campfire in the middle of your car? Yeah, it's, it, it looks like be you've been it. barbecuing in here and a computer, and I know you don't know how to use a computer. Well, <laughs> that's been... that's my friend's computer, and we're gonna uh -huh. like do stuff with it. I don't know what's going do. on here, dude. Something odd is and fishy is going on. Let's just go to class. Dude, it's not gonna bite you. You just need to calm down. I don't even Gosh, know what to say I about know, this. No respect for Morgan. No, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I got some respect for you, but I mean, he isn't married, so his car is everything to him. So I've got this neighbor. Um, his name is Robert McLeod, but we all call him Bob. Bob comes stumbling in one day on his bike. Bob, what are you doing here? Oh, you knew. Just hanging out, man. In my doorway? I'm not going to leave it out in the cold now, am I, man? You seem a bit tipsy. What do you got in your hand? It's a drink. What are you drinking? It's a cranberry drink. Did they ask for ID when you got it? I can't remember. I'm just gonna be blunt with you. Are you drunk? No, no alcohol in it, man. I don't drink alcohol, man. What the f is wrong with you, man? I'm just concerned. I've never seen you in this in this form before, Bob. I got a f***ing problem with the the bike, mate. What's wrong with the bike? Radiator busted? I can't f***ing ride it with the the bottle and. It was just too hard, man. I couldn't ride it, so I thought I'd come and ask you for help. Would you just f***ing look at the bike, mate? I mean, did you try putting the bottle down and riding the bike? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take an, a quick wee nap. No, I mean, you just live around the corner, Bob. Let me help you out. I'll take you to your place. Come on now, buddy. Bob, sit up for me. Oi. Yo, face Oh, Bob. Okay, hold on, here we go. I can never be a fireman. He walked in without shoes, crashed on my couch, and I had to pick him up. Well, I almost threw him on my back picking him up. He's a heavy dude. One thing you need to know about Bob, the man was born in Colorado, and uh, yet he had a Scottish accent this night, which really, I didn't even ask him about it because 
I figured he probably wouldn't know the answer. I honestly don't know. I mean, it seems they're as if they're acting the exact opposite of how they would normally act, which is the definition of inversion, right? So I don't know if the inversion is causing it or what it is in particular, but let me tell you this story. This is really mm -hmm. weird. So I get to the cell phone store. Uh, it's owned by a friend of ours named Hassam. And uh, <coughs> when I get to the uh, inversion, <coughs> Yasser walks in with hummus and baba ghanoush. And these are Arabic dishes. Uh, um, one is chickpeas and the other, well, regardless, they're Arabic, they're Arabic dishes. And he walks in, I know what they look like. I mean, I've eaten them, you know, multiple times. This was not hummus nor baba ghanoush. This was something else. If anything, it was expired versions of the, the two. It's bad. It's pretty bad. My back is also crap, too. Dang. What's up? We got lunch. Dude, it's much my hair. Let's have some lunch right now. Lunch? Come on, join us. What kind of food is this? Hummus and baba ganoush. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Hummus and baba ganoush. Uh, hummus. Oh, okay. They just don't look like what I'm used to seeing. That's the way it looks, bro. It's baba ganoush and hummus. Come on. Don't know what it just looks like. Back. Have some. No, 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 I'm good. Honestly, I had lunch not too long ago. Um, no, dude. I don't. It's disrespectful if you don't need it. All right, just a small bite. Just uh. Bad. Do you have something to wash the salad? with? No. Don't be shy. Have some more. No, I don't. I've got a really small stomach. It's so good. They had the audacity to force me to try some. I told them I was full. They said I was going to offend him, you know, had I not. I didn't know what to do, and I don't, I don't know how they ate it. They finished the dish. They finished it, polished both dishes. So this has caused me to think a lot more green as of late. I mean, uh, I've ridden the tracks more often. Once I realized what a big effect the inversion has had on me uh, personally, I mean, as far as like, like physically getting sick and such, uh, I've decided to change my ways. And it's, I mean, it's important to me breathing anyway because it's how I survive. I don't know how anybody else does or if there are people who don't need to breathe. I don't know why. I really couldn't tell you why I wasn't infected by the inversion, other than uh, the fact that I couldn't breathe. I didn't really experience um, the same symptoms, I guess you can call them, as, as my friends and uh, the other people I've had to deal with. I mean, the word inversion does mean to switch. I mean, uh, you know, up becomes down, even when you're playing an Xbox game and you press invert, up becomes down, down becomes up. You know, everything just switches, but, uh, I couldn't tell you why I wasn't affected. I really don't know. Hey, what you doing? Wanna give me a hand with these dishes? What the f You know I don't do dishes. What the f are you talking about dishes for, man? Sticking your fingers in sh Why you always gotta be swearing? I don't know, dude. I don't do dishes. You know that. This guy never does any dishes.